Well, good morning, everyone. I think this is our fourth week of virtual preschool, if I've been counting correctly. So after this week, we will have been having preschool for a whole and do the days of the week and the calendar. The last day of school we had was Friday. Then we have Saturday and Sunday, and that's the weekend, no school. And so today is Monday. So we'll move our frog to Monday. All right, and then remember last week, we switched from September to the new month of October. And I pointed out the pictures on here of the kids that are trick or treating because at the end of October is Halloween. All right, so let's see, last week we had one, two, and then for the weekend, let's see, and then we have pumpkin, apple, let's see what the next one is. Oh, a pumpkin again for number three. And then so Saturday, Sunday, one, two, three, four, and I see pumpkin, apple, pumpkin, let's see, apple. And we need to do one more day because today is Monday. One, two, three, four, five. Pumpkin, apple, pumpkin, apple, pumpkin. So a pumpkin number five. All right, so today is Monday, October 6th. Let's look out the window, and I kind of blocked the window myself. I was trying to block the glare a little bit, but it didn't work. Um, but it looks like we have cloudy skies today, not even partly cloudy, all cloudy. So there's our cloudy. You can see all the clouds on the picture. And it was cool again, so we have our cool frog. Later this week, it's supposed to warm up a little bit, though. So cloudy and cool today. Now remember, at, towards the end of September, we switched from the month of summer to the month of fall or autumn. And in Oct the whole month of October is the, in the season of fall. Well today, we're, this week, excuse me, we're actually going to be talking about the season of fall. All right, so our pictures kind of go along with it. I know they're kind of glare on the pictures, but there's a, fall tree with lots of orange leaves and orange leaves on the ground and all the pumpkins over there and you're probably seeing a lot of those things too. So we're going to read a book about fall and then do, during our small group today we're going to talk a little bit more about what what changes happen in the fall. So here's our little mystery envelope and let's pull our book out and see what it is today. Oh, I see a lot of fall leaves on the front of this book. If you look closely, looks like there's a kid running through the fall leaves. I bet a lot of you do that too. So this book is called It's Fall. I skip and switch through autumn leaves. Remember, autumn means the same thing as fall. They crunch and crackle under my feet and whoosh and whirl all around me. Red, orange, yellow, gold, and brown. A wind swoops up, more leaves fall down. So whenever the wind comes through, it blows more of those colored leaves off the trees and onto the ground where you can run through them and roll through them and throw them in the air. It's fall. I help break a big, big pile of leaves. Whee! I jump in and sink deep, deep, deep. I hide inside. It smells sharp and sweet. Leaves prickle and tickle all over me. I wait and wait. Then, pop! It's me. We hear the wild honking of migrating geese as they fly way up overhead in leaves. 
can see the V right there. A hawk soars up and sweeping in a sweeping glide, and there go some monarch butterflies. They're all heading south where it's warm because colder days are coming soon. So the geese, the hawk, the monarch butterflies are migrating south where it's warm. That's one of the things the animals do before winter. It's fall. Animals are hiding all around me. They're getting ready to hibernate in deep, deep sleep. Ladybugs hide in pine cones and under bark and leaves. Earthworms tunnel way down where the earth doesn't freeze. So the ladybugs, the earthworms, they're getting ready to sleep all winter. And the special word for sleeping all winter is hibernate. So some animals migrate, some animals hibernate. Frogs burrow in lake bottoms under the mud. A raccoon finds a safe spot in a hollow log. A chipmunk stores piles of seeds underground. Soon they'll all sleep for a long, long time. Gray squirrels scamper around finding acorns and nuts. They'll be awake all winter, so they have to fatten up. So the raccoon, the frogs, the chipmunk, they're all getting ready to hibernate to sleep all winter. But I'm, you might remember that you see squirrels still running around in the winter. Squirrels adapt. So the way they adapt is they eat a whole bunch of food and they store food under the ground for when they need it in winter. It's fall. The air is turning crisp and cold. It's time to wear our warmer clothes. We put on jackets and pants and long sleeves to keep us warm when it turns breezy. I bet a lot of you have noticed that now. You have to all of a sudden wear jackets, long sleeve shirts, pants, shoes and socks to keep you warm because it's getting cooler out. The sun goes down so early now. We wait and watch the sky grow dark. We see the great big harvest moon rise up and up. I bet a lot of you have noticed that too, that it's getting darker earlier at night. Wherever we go, we find flowers and weeds drying out and scattering seeds. We float silky parachutes of dry milkweed. Birds land on our dry sunflowers and eat the seeds. Tall, dry cattails whisper and rattle. Crisp leaves swish and rustle and chatter. It's fall. So some birds also stay around during the winter, which is pretty cool. We collect acorns and pine cones and pretty leaves. I choose a great big pumpkin. We carve a face and roast the seeds. Once you've carved a pumpkin, now it's called a jack-o-lantern. But a lot of you like to do that too this time of year. One day in our garden, we dig some holes. We plant crocuses and tulips and daffodil bulbs. I try to picture how they'll look a long time from now when they finally come up. So this is the time of year. It's kind of funny. This is the time of year when you plant bulbs for those bulb flowers that come up first thing in the spring. In fact, I have some at home that we need to plant. Then one day I noticed that the trees are all bare. Bare means there's nothing on them. Leaves have fallen everywhere. There's an icy chill in the air. Soon, very soon, winter will be here. But right now, it's still fall. It'll look like that here pretty soon. I gather handfuls of autumn leaves. I toss them up. They swirl down on me. It's fall. It's fall. I love it all. It's fall. All 
All right, so before I show you your new work, I'm just gonna remind you all to do your journal question this week too. Remember, find a new page and have your mom or dad write the question and draw your picture. Don't forget that. All right, so it is a new month, right? The month of October. So we have a new reading log. Now this reading log has firefighter hats on it and that's because fire safety is often a theme in October. We're not doing fire safety this month, but there are firefighter hats on here. So every time you read a book with your mom or dad or somebody else, you can color in one of the hats. And remember to tell them to make more copies of this so that you don't get to the end and you don't have any more hats to color, all right? So that's just a reminder about that. Let's see. Oh, it's since it's also a new month, we also have our new October calendar. Now remember with this, you're going to write your name at the top. Miss Mika. Or have your mom or dad write it in yellow or have them write it for you. And then if you're four or five years old, you're going to trace all the numbers. So I'm not four or five, so I'm just tracing, tracing some of the numbers. You probably can't see it too well on the screen. But this month for our picture on top, I sent you home with a pumpkin, just like this. And what you can do, what my suggestion was, was to use yellow and red paint and do finger painting on top of it. Now I'm not gonna show you that right now, because if I did that, I'd have to stop in the middle and go wash my hands. So if you don't wanna do finger paint, you could also paint with a paintbrush. You could use markers, crayons, whatever you wanna use, okay? After you've colored this, you're going to put glue on the back of it. So here's my glue. And then I'm going to stick it onto another piece of paper, all right? So I happen to have this green piece of paper here. So there your pumpkin would be, once it's all colored. Then you will take your calendar and put a glue dot on each top corner. And then you're going to glue it down underneath the pumpkin. So then you have your own October calendar that you can hang up, all right? So there's that. We have quite a bit of work this week. I have lots of stuff for you guys. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna do this one first. We did this last month, but we do it every month. This is our self-portrait. This says, this is me in October. So, you know, you grow all the time. So every month I need a new picture of what you look like. So you're gonna think about what parts you have on you. I'm not gonna draw it again, because I want you guys to think about how you would draw it. But remember, you have a head, you have a torso, you have arms and hands, you have legs and feet, all right? Your hair, your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your ears, fingers, toes, whatever clothes you wanna draw on yourself. So think about all those parts when you're drawing your October calendar. And don't forget to bring these to me when you pick up your packet so that I can save them, all right? All right, so this is one of the favorite activities in the classroom. You got a little baggie with a carpet, a little carpet square and a pin poker, all right? And you also got some fall leaf, papers with fall leaves drawn on them. Okay, now a lot of you were at the preschool last year, so you already know how to do this, all right? But just remember our rules in the classroom, they should also be your rules at home. Whenever you're not using the pin poker, it should be in the cork and you do not carry this around. You don't carry it around the classroom. You don't carry it around your home. Somebody could get hurt. You also don't poke yourself and you don't poke other people with it, all right? You also have your little carpet. Make sure this is on top of something that you that doesn't matter if it gets damaged a little because your pin poker will kind of can go all the way through it and poke something under it. 
All right, so you're gonna put your little carpet down on top of something safe. Pick one of the pin poker card or papers, put it on top. Now these are small carpets. You're gonna to have to move it around underneath, okay? We have the big ones at school. And you're going to pin punch little holes right next to each other all the way around on the leaf. I should have done part of this to begin with. I didn't think about it. So I'm gonna go all the way around real quick because I want you to see, if you haven't seen this before, what happens when you put your little pokes right next to each other. And see, so I have to move it a little bit so that my paper is always on top of the little carpet in the spot that I'm poking, okay? If you don't have a carpet underneath, it won't work. I'm gonna move it again. And I'm gonna go all the way around. Now, if you don't, I'm sure you'll remember this if you were here last year, if you don't put your little pin pokes, the holes, close enough together, the magic will not happen at the end, right? So if you want the magic to happen, put your little holes really close together. Over. I'm almost done, so thanks for being patient. Now, when you do it, you're probably not going to be as fast as me, and that's okay. And something to remember, when you do this, when you do this activity, you are making yourself have really strong finger muscles. And we all want to have strong finger muscles. All right, are you ready to see the magic? Let me show you, it's got all the little holes in it. I don't know if you can see, and on the back, you can see all the way through. Now I can pop it right out. Now you'll probably want to ask one of the grown-ups in your house to do this. Because sometimes it will rip if you don't, if you're not super careful. You don't want your leaf to rip. So then I can pop it out. All right, and at school, we often like to hang these on the window, or you can take them home. But at your house, if you want to hang them on your window, you can too. You can hang both parts. All right, so that is pin poking. And just remember, this is only to be used for pin poking. You don't carry it around the house. And when you're done with it, mom and dad need to put it away where it's safe. Okay, if they put everything back in the bag like this and put it up high where nobody else can get it. Okay, so there we go. All right, so that is what I have for you today. I'm going to see some of you today at our small group, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what happens in the fall, signs of fall. All right, and you'll get a chance to kind of tell me what you've been up to. All right, so I will see everyone later. Bye!